Why is it so important to train your people on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing? Well, it's the only standard used to control part geometry. It is today's print reading. GDT offers your company the ability to communicate better and produce more robust products. Everyone in design, production, quality, and really the entire enterprise is positively impacted by GDT. GDT helps design by giving them a way to capture clear design intent. No more questioning what the drawing means. Everything has one clear meaning. You will realize shorter cycle time from concept to launch by getting everyone on the same page at the beginning with design previews. Your multifunctional team is able to give production a drawing that will assure fewer engineering changes, fewer use as is parts, and less troubleshooting. Here are a couple of examples. For this cell phone company, the issue was time to market. It was taking 15 months from concept to launch. By involving the team with the assignment of GD&T at the model stage, the time was eventually reduced to 10 months. Here is another example. The previous pump design was $50 overpriced. We used design for assembly techniques to reduce the part count and get the right geometry and thanks to drawing previews the cost target was met and the troubleshooting at startup was minimal. You see, GD&T helps production because it shows them how to produce parts that function the first time. They will not need to develop tribal knowledge in order to make the part in spite of the drawing, but rather have the ability to make the parts in accordance with the drawing. Quality will now be able to accurately track CPs and CPKs. After all, the numerator of these indices is the tolerance. They will be able to legitimize gauges and fixtures and evaluate suppliers successfully. Quality will also be able to make decisions about parts based on function. The entire enterprise will have an increased awareness of the product's needs because the right questions are asked up front rather than waiting to find problems and then fix them. The result will be two-way communication between departments. No more throwing the drawings over the wall to the next department. Everyone will have a vested interest in making a product work and everyone involved will feel like a part of the solution rather than the problem. You can't make what you can't measure because you don't know when you've got it made. We expect parts to be measured according to the drawing and yet it is estimated that over 80 percent of the engineering documents generated in the United States are flawed in some way. If you do not believe this check out many companies revision columns on their drawings. Most revisions are the rework of the drawing caused by not getting it right the first time. Companies need to correct this to be competitive in a world market. Of all the quality tools available, GD&T is the one that the team can rally around. The drawing is the common thread between those directly involved with producing the product. The designer makes the drawing and knows the design intent. With GD&T, the intent becomes clear to the designer's customers. Since production and quality receive the output of design, namely the drawing, they are design's direct customers. The drawing drives the entire process. If the drawing is unclear, production and quality do not have a chance to make it right the first time. The result is requests for engineering changes, scrap, rework, and use as is decisions. Hey, here's a question for you. If a part can be used like that today, why can't it be used like that tomorrow? And if it can be used like that, why doesn't the drawing say so? If you are not using concepts like maximum material condition, least material condition, and profile of a surface effectively, your drawings are not allowing the acceptance of the best parts. A quality progress study discovered that most companies fall under one of two curves. If you plot time along the x-axis and number of engineering changes processed on the y-axis, some companies wait until they or their customers find a problem before they fix it. The second curve represents companies who make most of their changes up front before they have spent time and money on tooling, fixtures, and producing unusable parts. Which curve best represents your company? Conducting design previews early to ask the right questions and documenting the answers with GD&T can greatly improve the shape of your curve. If you are conducting drawing reviews rather than previews, you have waited too long. 
A drawing preview requires a core group of people from all affected disciplines to come together to discuss the product, production, and inspection of the parts before the drawings are made, at the solid model stage, before someone has invested time in applying dimensions and tolerances. This core group has an important role during the design preview. They have to define the ideal geometry of the part, not only for function, but also to help facilitate the production and inspection of the parts. They should also apply critical and producible tolerances where needed. On non-critical features, they should open up the tolerance as much as possible for production without sacrificing the quality and reliability of the product. The result of selecting appropriate dimensioning and tolerancing early in the design cycle will result in a more robust design, higher quality, shorter time to market, better product understanding, fewer fit and functional problems, and fewer engineering changes. GD&T is a national standard composed of symbols, rules, and vocabulary to clearly define features on your parts. There is a mathematical companion to the standard, which is the ASME Y14.5.1. The Y14.5 national standard is used worldwide. Yes, there is an international standard on GD&T, but it is in a state of flux. If your company is using computer-aided design, computer numerically controlled machines, coordinate measure machines, and other high-tech inspection equipment, their software is written in accordance with the Y14.5 national standard. To get the most out of these technologies, your operators need to understand the standard. If you are only using direct tolerancing and not the GD&T standard, you have no standard. Let Techies help you with your GD&T training needs.